video, we're going to look at 13 time management and productivity strategies for postgraduate students. Why does it seem like some have more hours in a day than others? Time is a finite resource. Can we really manage it? It ticks away as you are watching this video without us having any control over it. The challenge lies not in managing time itself, but rather in managing our behaviors as to what we do while time is doing its own thing. If you prefer to read rather than to listen and watch, I've put the link to the blog post in the description box below this video. Also, for some more helpful content for postgraduate students, join the Research Mastermind Success Academy, a membership for postgrad students to support you to complete your research project with ease and have time for the good things in life. Strategy number one, know the bigger picture. Where are you heading to? Create your vision. Being clear as to where you are heading, especially with the bigger picture in mind, will make it easier to navigate the steps to get there. Do you want to graduate in two years time, submit a paper within the next six months, or get your dream job? Knowing your next destination will help you through tough times and will even give you more motivation when things are going well. Create a vision board for added motivation so that you have something to remind you of your bigger vision. Strategy number two, set your goals and define them properly. The smart mnemonic sounds like a cliche these days, but it is definitely not an empty recommendation. When we don't define our goals properly, we run the risk of not achieving them because we are not clear as to what we want from them. And it's easy to fix. Set smart goals. Strategy number three, create an effective to-do list. By creating smart goals and ensuring that you consider importance and urgency, you'll be sure that your to-do list does not contain busy work items. There's a blog post and a video on the Research Mastermind's YouTube channel and website respectively titled Seven To-Do List Myths Debunked, and that will give you all the tips and tricks you need to set up the perfect to-do list. Strategy number four, do an audit of all your tasks and projects. And I recommend two approaches when you do this audit, the Eisenhower matrix and the Moscow method. The Eisenhower matrix is a prioritization tool that helps individuals categorize tasks based on urgency and importance. While the Moscow method help us to clarify the priority and importance of various elements or goals within a project or an initiative. And it's a great tool to ensure that we are aware of what is the most important and what can be classified as the bells and the whistles so that we don't spend hours on the could-haves at the expense of the must-haves. And therefore, it's perfect to curb perfectionism. Find out more about these useful approaches on the Research Masterminds website and YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Before we delve into more useful productivity hacks, if you find this video helpful, like it and share it with a friend. Also, subscribe to the channel and if you'd like to get notified when I publish a new video, click on the bell that appears after you subscribed. Let's continue. Strategy number five, nip overwhelm and procrastination in the bud. Sometimes it just feels like there is too much to do. We get overwhelmed and that is when we procrastinate. The first step to tackle this is to figure out what it is that makes us feel overwhelmed and want to procrastinate. Is it the fact that the next steps are not well defined? A misty mountain? A huge task not broken into smaller steps can really floor us. Break the task up into smaller manageable steps, even if it feels stupidly small. That's fine. Strategy number six. Organize a writing retreat and immerse yourself in dedicated writing time. A writing retreat offers an immersive environment away from distractions, providing dedicated time and space to focus solely on writing. It allows individuals like researchers and writers to escape from the hustle and the bustle of everyday life and concentrate on their work, fostering that creativity and productivity. Strategy number seven. Create accountability. 
Accountability involves sharing your goals with a trusted individual who ensures you stay committed. Strategy number eight, time boxing or the Pomodoro technique. Break your work into focused time intervals. Time boxing involves allocating a specific time frame to a task, promoting intense focus and efficiency. The Pomodoro technique, a popular time boxing method, advocates short structured intervals of work followed by breaks. Strategy number nine, eat that frog, tackle the most challenging task first. Eat that frog, the title of a book by Brian Tracy, encourages prioritizing and tackling the most challenging task early in the day. Strategy number 10, work at your best times. Schedule demanding tasks during peak productivity hours. Recognizing one's peak productivity hours and scheduling demanding tasks during this time maximizes efficiency and minimizes procrastination. Whether you are a morning person or a night owl, aligning challenging work with personal energy peaks ensures optimal focus and performance, enhancing output quality and overall productivity. Strategy number 11. Embrace marginal gains. Small steps lead to significant progress over time. By making small, consistent progress in your research, but also in other aspects of work and life, you accumulate positive changes over time, and that leads to substantial progress. Strategy number 12. Beware of perfectionism. Strive for completion over perfection. Perfectionism can hinder progress by imposing unrealistic standards. Striving for completion over perfection encourages individuals to finish tasks, learn from the process and iterate for improvement. Lastly, strategy number 13. Have reasonable expectations by setting realistic expectations for your to-do list and time commitments. Setting reasonable expectations involves acknowledging personal limitations and crafting to-do lists and time commitments accordingly. Realism prevents overcommitment, reduces stress, and ensures tasks are completed effectively. Incorporating these strategies into your routine can significantly enhance your time management skills and boost your productivity throughout your postgraduate research journey. Remember, mastering time is not about having more hours, but making the most of the time you have. Visit the Productivity Top Tips playlist on the Research Masterminds YouTube channel and the website for more on these tips, much more detail on how to implement these approaches, as well as many other helpful tips and tricks. Keep going strong. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.